What's been interesting, it's uh, I self-published my journal like um, seven months ago, and now I'm getting feedback. And it's really interesting. I mean, for me, I was passionate. I thought this is great. You know, you have something you have. Don't, not only do you not have empty pages, because I knew there was a fear of the empty pages, but you got prompts and you can do it. Not only are people afraid of the, of as you're saying, the pages, they're afraid of even beginning to journal. Even turning that page is a problem. They think it's, I need a perfect moment. I need a mood. I need a certain place. Um, I have to be in a certain time in my life. It's as you said, they're waiting for that lightning strike or that bolt to come. And I was thinking, no, I think you're over thinking this. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's journaling is just simply sitting down and writing down your thoughts. It should never be organized. It should never have some kind of layout or whatever. It should just be whatever it is you want it to be. The thing I think um, I realized is journaling is a habit. Mm. Like any habit, it takes time for you to get used to this new thing that you want to introduce into your life. We've just said that journaling is something that you need to do often, right? It's like you have to exercise often if you want some kind of result. You have to drink, um, I don't know, uh, your, your shake often for you to find some kind of a result. Same thing as journaling. You have to do it often enough so that you can get used to it. And like any habit, you will start with enthusiasm, you will stop with boredom, and you have to start it all over again so that you can get used to it, right? And I think this is now like my mission is trying to talk to people about, it's not about the writing. It's not about the journaling. It's about what you're doing for yourself and why you're doing it, right? And your journaling is done not just to write down words. It's done to rediscover who you are. It's done to connect to yourself. What I realized is most of the time we don't know what's happening inside of us. We don't ask ourselves, how am I feeling today? What was going on with me today? You could be excited or you could be whatever, that's fine. But in the morning, if you wake up in the morning and you have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and you're asking yourself, how am I today? You have no idea what will come out of that. And, and, and I want people to understand it is such a beautiful and interesting, you are an interesting human being. And you can find out so much about yourself if you give yourself the time to do it. And when I'm, I'm not saying um, you need to give yourself 10, 15 minutes every morning. No, give yourself five minutes. And especially with the process that I, that I developed in, with my journal is you begin with gratitude. We do the importance of gratitude. Just giving three to five things you're grateful for. We'll talk about that one. Gratitude just on its own and the impact it has on you and the way you will change, the way you see things. Again, a habit, which you need to get used to, to do that. And then setting your intention for the day. That's another thing that I add into the book, which means just understanding what is it that I want to have today? What do I want to feel today? What do I want to... Uh, experience today. That's just setting that pace. What's the pace for your day today? What do will I need today? That's setting your intention. And then just saying, you know, how am I feeling today? What, what's going on? 